Today, we will demonstrate how to enable Unitronics servo drive diagnostic functionality into a UniLogic project. First, add a servo drive to the project. Navigate to Hardware Configuration, Motion Drives, Servo, Servo Drives. In the toolbox, add a drive to the project. In the Properties window, the Can Open ID can be readdressed. Select the motor series and motor that will be used for this project. Next, there is an option to add servo configuration to the project. Adding a servo configuration will enable the programmer to change the default values of the servo drive. Navigate to Servo Configurations, and in the toolbox, add a configuration to the project. Select Configuration 1. Here, the drive parameters are sectioned into groups to the left. In the table to the right, we'll have the function code, name, configured value, min, max, and default value, of each parameter in the drive. The programmer can change the default value by changing the configured value column. Next, there is an option to add an axis to the project. Navigate to Motion, Axes, add a new axis to the project. When adding a new axis, UniLogic will ask if the user would like to import the diagnostic functionality to the project. Click Import, and the functionality will be imported. The import was successful. Click OK. Under the Drive column, link the drive from the hardware configuration to this axis. To configure the axis, click on Axis 1. Here, reducers and actuators can be added to the axis. Additional settings are available, such as mechanical properties, units, dynamics, and homing options. Notice that after the import was successful, functions and screens were added to the project. This is the diagnostic functionality. To enable the functionality in the latter, Navigate to Function 1, which is the default function. Call umd underscore main within Function 1. umd underscore main will have two input parameters. Both are existing structs. The A parameter, link motion control. And to the B parameter, link umd underscore general. The diagnostics functionality is now enabled within the ladder. Next, diagnostic screens must be linked to user screens. Navigate to screen 1, which is the default screen. Place a button on screen. Rename the button, Diagnostics, and give the button action. The button will load a screen 
and the screen will be underscore umd underscore main. This is the main screen of the diagnostic functionality. Click close. There must be a way to return from the diagnostics to the user screens. Navigate to underscore umd underscore main. In the bottom left, there is a home button that is intended to return the user to the main screen, the user screen. Click on the home function, assign an action to this button. The action will load a screen, screen 1, which is the user screen. Click close. This has been a demonstration on how to import Unilogic servo drive diagnostic functionality into the project. I hope you enjoyed this video.